Happy Sunday morning to y'all, man. Hopefully you guys are having a great day because y'all already know who I am. If you don't know who I am, I'm J. Easy. Oh, oh. J. Easy like Sunday morning. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm trying to bring y'all some energy on this Sunday morning, man. So make sure y'all like the video and comment easy down below. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, we're going we gonna to do this backwards. All right, check it out. The bots are down there. Ignore the bots. They're trying to tell y'all I'm on Telegram and I've got my phone number down there. It's not me. It's not Brute. It's not Laker fan. It's not Ticino. It's not any of us, man. I ain't shake down. None of us are on Telegram. It ain't Badgy Pluggy. None of us. That's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one. Every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC Cash App or we give away a copy of a video game, man. We're going to be doing that drawing today in a couple of hours when I get on stream. I'm going to be raising with randoms live. Y'all make sure y'all come through. Last but not least, if we can average 8K views per video, Yo, we'll be giving away a next gen console whether it be an xbox a playstation or we're gonna be giving away 500 bucks or a laptop man y'all gonna let me know what y'all want down in the comment section man and uh if we get kind of close i might just choose what to give away and just do it like that man and um without further ado good morning Land, man. Listen, some people always ask, why do I ask y'all to like the video or why I'm trying to incentivize y'all to do that? It's just because of how the YouTube algorithm works. YouTube algorithm might send the video out to like 1% of the, I got 90,000 subs. It might send it out to 1% of the people that are subscribed to me, so it's going to send it out to like 9,000 people. So, it is very important that those first 9,000 people that get the video, like the video, and comment, and, and you know, because it gets the engagement up, and then it'll send it out to the next 9,000. And 9,000 is really an exaggeration. It might send it out to like really like 300 of y'all. And if y'all don't do the likes and stuff, it won't send it out to the next, it won't send it out to the next. It'll get very fewer and fewer. It'll be diminishing returns. So that's why some of you guys are not seeing the video. Y'all saying, I don't see the video. I'm not getting notifications. It's because the first people aren't doing their job. If the first people do their job, y'all, let's, let's just test something out today. If you're seeing the video right now, hit the like button right now and watch how this video goes through the roof. If y'all want me to stay down here and don't want me to get closer to that oh so coveted 100K and we really close, then hey, just imagine what I'm gonna do for y'all when we hit 100K if I'm doing this for 8k view anyway man look uh, check it out first things first i pop and freaks all the honeys Dumb. hey anyway uh trey riggs versus tycedo is going down tonight december 18th uh 11 p.m uh eastern standard time it's going down you better have your along you tycedo let me see it's going down you better have your along you tycedo versus trey riggs is going down tonight but wait there's more and uh Wait, my, I, look, I'm a little out of practice, man. But wait, there's more. That boy that say the 2K community dead and he don't even really want to play the game because you know the chat's so negative. IQ contained versus Tassino for the thousand dollar pot. There's never been a matchup between me and him with where neither of us are delayed. This is going to be a good one. December 8th, I mean the 18th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So more or less he's gonna play IQ contained uh, right now. He's gonna play IQ Contain at 10. He's gonna play Trey Riggs at 11. He's been setting up these double headers, and we've been doing the double headers, man. So hopefully, all of this is gonna work out perfectly because, um, you know, we're gonna be doing both of the videos, and y'all already know, y'all already know how we do with the weak illustration. Then I've unplugged this by mistake, so literally everything just paused. I'm surprised that my dog on uh that that it didn't it didn't just die. But I think we can. I think we can recover from this. Can we recover from it? I don't know if we can recover from this. I just got a green screen because I tried to show y'all what I be doing. <gasps> Hold on one second. Let's see if we can get this thing to go, man. All right, stop and start. There we go. We recovered from this beautifully. We are back in the game. Get back in the game, baby. Like the cold train, baby. So hot. Y'all like this segue, man. But uh, man, like I said, bro, it is what it is. But unfortunately, my boy, Po Boy Sin, has got no reply with this, man. Rematch. He hitting the guy up. He's saying, can he get a rematch? Sin got a little, you know, he, he not very happy about that because he's been asking for a rematch all week. And uh, he can't he, he can't get his rematch. I, I don't think, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe he's going to play him at the end of it or whatever. He's going to give him his rematch. But, you know, it was, a, it, you know, it was a little bad blood there between that whole thing with him using that video that seeing, uh didn't really want him to use and stuff like that. So I can understand if he didn't want to give him a rematch. But, I mean, it, it's, it was an epic battle with no delay. So I, I 
think it would be cool for him to, uh, you know, give Sin a little rematchy, a little rematch matchy. But uh, it is what it is. Up next, we got that boy, uh, EJ. He's saying, I'm sitting here thinking how the 2K community treated Cole when he lost to Tysino. It's sad that everyone will love you one minute and then talk hella trash about you when you lose. He's done, he's done a lot for the community and for y'all to go in uh, for y'all to go in this chat and talk trash to an OG. I'm trying to edit this, man. It's hard to edit it while you're talking. For y'all to talk trash to an OG is just weird. Shaking my head. And uh, look, boy, hey, I ain't a lot of y'all. That dog on Nate Exy, but Nate Exy just came straight in and said, listen, 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 uh, listen, my boy. Anytime you lose, the losing team will be called trash. It's, it's a regular thing. They're going to say, how did you lose? But they've never been in that situation. And that's a fact. That's one of the things that Sin was talking about. I think that's what Sin was trying to say the other day when he was saying, you know, you got to stay in the viewer's place and stuff like that. He wasn't trying to talk down on people. I think he was just really trying to say, you guys have never been in that situation, so you don't know how you will react. Just like when Hagger dropped the ball wide open, butt booty naked in the end zone yesterday. And then you look at his says he you look at his profile and says never caught a pass. Why would you expect him to catch that pass right there? I'm sure he wasn't the first option on that. And when Shadura tried, tried to touch pass it to him, he showed why he's never caught a pass, man. And that sucks because bless his heart, he had to be the sickest man in America right there. They had to pet him up going to the locker room and stuff like that. But he ain't there to catch the ball. He was there to block, and he did his job with blocking. So, you know, it is what it is. It's like, it's, it's something like that. When you've never really been in that situation, you don't know how you're going to react. He could have caught it in and, and cradled it in, but he, just, he he tried to catch it. He did the best that he could, man. And, hey, salute to that young man. It, it sucks, but, hey, um, hey. He, he really shouldn't have been in that situation. And you, like you said, you don't know what you're going to do until you're in that situation. Hate to bring that up, but uh, we're going to do a whole video on that today. If y'all don't mind me doing Deion Sanders videos, because them joints is getting hella views right now, can I do those? Uh, and y'all not going to unsub, because you know with the 2K community, anytime you do anything that's different, I can do a regular basketball video on a 2K channel, and people will be like, I ain't here for this, I'm unsub. Like, come on, man, chill. Anyway, uh, IQ Contain come back and says, Wages introduce nothing but two-faced viewers. They praise you when you win, and they absolutely trash on you, poop on you when you lose. It's sad. Uh, it's sadly been that way for years, and it's a reason why a lot of people don't wager again after the first loss. And I agree with that, man. It's the community that does that. But I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, bro. It, it's that's something that y'all foster in the community, bro. It's something that y'all foster. We. Like, it's just like when Kai, Kai Q was talking, we're going to talk about this on tomorrow. When he was talking about it's crazy when people come into your video or come into your channel and be like, you know, you playing this dead game, you do this, you do that. If you tolerate that or you let your community know that you tolerate those things and foster those things, then that's what they're going to give you. People just do it like people troll Mo Buckets because Mo Buckets, that's part of his gimmick. He allows himself to be trolled, and that's one of the ways, and, and it's no secret. Let's just not act like you don't know. That's one of the secret ways to get up in the 2K community when you allow yourself. Me and Man Man have been saying it for years when you allow yourself to become a walking ale and they can trash on you like that the, your community will grow like wildfire when they feel like they can say anything in your chat but when you run a, a tight ship like like what a lot of us run it, it's just not gonna happen bro it just you ain't gonna just gonna say what you want to to me and my i ain't gonna lie to you i could i could be in there with one viewer and i time him i don't care bro you're not just about to come in here and say what you say this is not a democracy it's a dictatorship but you know and then like my guy anonymous said the saddest thing about haters is that is they could never face it that they actually uh that they are actually uh, that you actually know they haters. There you go. If you when you call out a hater, they can't never face it. The game is so cold. Competition, competitions are for the fans, not for the actual players. Maybe you understand, maybe you don't. You might be a hater. And what he's saying is, bro, ain't nobody hating, ain't nobody mad at this stuff, bro. The only thing we're saying is the competition is for the fans. It's not for it's not for the content creator, right? So when the content creator goes and plays, it's not for them to win and pad their pocket. It's like we all win by proxy because the viewers go up, the interest goes up, and the fans just get to see somebody, you know, two good players play. They don't, they don't, you know, it's not necessarily for the guy that's betting the money because he don't care about the money. It's just to test my medal against somebody that I respect and uh, and gonna, they're going to play in a respectful way. And, you know, if we win, I win. If I don't, I don't. It is what it is. But the fans are really who it's for. Um, and, and, you know, we just go try to trash on the content creator when they lose, man. It sucks. It's, it's reprehensible, uh, characteristic of the community. But like I said, that's why I stay out of a lot of that stuff, man, because I know, I know what comes to it, man. Up next, we got that boy Key Stick says, Ticino Wager has been moved 
to Monday. So, you know, that's going to be cool right there, man. He's going to be, he moved his joint to Monday. And, um, you know, uh, we're going we gonna to get that thing popping. And last but not least, wise words from an OG that's been doing it for a minute, man. Y'all trying to dump on Sin, bro? I'm going to tell y'all. Sin's the one thing, we, the way that he said what he said, I didn't agree with. But I tell y'all all the time, I can agree with you. I'm with you when you're right. And that's just all to it. I, if we if we are in a community where I can't disagree with you when I feel like I don't agree with what you're saying, but then I can't turn around and be with you when you're right, like, come on, man. Bro, do you know how many times Brutus Sim calls me and say, Jay, you might have been out of line on that. You might want to retract that. You might want to pull that back and all that stuff. And I have to, and I do the same thing for him. And then we both butt heads like this. And then we come to say, you know what, you're right. I might did go in a little bit on that. You know how many times that happens to me with a T? And me and Anonymous, we, yeah, I probably shouldn't do that, man. You know how videos I done made and we watch the video in Discord and they say you might not want to put that out. But then we just, no, you can disagree with people and still be cool i don't understand and i think that's what that's what this all or nothing mentality in the 2k community that's why cole had his epic break now because it's like you either gotta be you gotta either be with cole or you gotta be with uh be with tacito i was right in the middle i said when cole played that game and he blew up you don't even understand how frustrating it is like you can play west in any other state except Georgia. I don't understand if y'all, I don't think y'all ever played West. If you don't know, if you don't know, now you know. You can play West in literally any other state except Georgia. Tough in New York hitting faders. d I think d in Florida, he out there doing this thing, hitting faders and, and, and dribbling, comboing up on West, doing everything just fine. If you are in Georgia, you, for some reason, it's like the routing just goes around us or whatever. You just can't play West at a high level. It is insanely difficult, especially if you've never done it before. I used to play with the Hasbros back in the day. Bro, I felt so useless. Me and T two years ago when Pac-Man hit Legend, we played with him. We felt so useless out there, bro. You can play defense, but you can't shoot the ball and you feel like your moves just don't come out. And I, I can only imagine how, uh, how frustrating that was when people don't know what you're going through, but they think they know what you're going through, and they can't even throw a combo in a regular game, much less the game plan on West. And you gotta endure three of those against somebody that you know that you routed twice on your server. You gotta play three back to back, and there's nothing you can do about it. I can only imagine how frustrating that was. I wish he would have conveyed it in a better manner, but that was the reason for the blow up. He said to sit there and endure that, and then in the last game, they knew he couldn't shoot, so they're just backing up off him. And it's like, bro, you would never disrespect me like this on my server. So it's just, it, it, it's tough, man, when you got to play those mind games when you're playing uh, West and East. He could have handled it better, but I definitely understand the frustration. We all blew up, and y'all blew up in y'all bedrooms because we hear y'all on the mic. But guess what? The only difference between us and y'all is that, what? You're not on stream. But I do understand. I do get where Anonymous is coming from, too, though, when he said, uh, are we going to... Are we gonna try to indict Cole the man? Like we indicted Sin? I think that neither one of them should have been, it shouldn't have been nothing. You can have a blow up when you lose because we are competitors. Nobody wants to lose. I'm probably one of the worst sports in the world. You play me in a game, I dap you up before. Uh, during the game, you're not gonna like me. After the game, you're not gonna like me. But once I go cool off after the game and I play another one or whatever, Man, you can be cool. We the best of friends. I done met some of my best friends talking talking trash to them on the court while we playing. And guess what? Next time I come in the gym, hey, bro, you running? Let's go. And then, look, I see them coming to the gym. Yeah, pick him. He's tough. It's just a mutual respect, man, but we just convey it a different way. But, uh, you know, y'all be coming to that with that craziness. Last but not least, though, we got that boy, Pro Boy Sin, giving some 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 stuff to the community, man. Like I said, I hope you get that rematch, man. And, um, you know, like I said, I hope you're doing well and all that stuff, man, recovering. Stay healthy, my brother. All that good stuff, man. But he says, you know you know how many people would love to get 50 followers in a six-hour stream? Yeah, y'all got to stop listening to these opportunities. You have to prove that you deserve a follower or even a subscriber. Keep letting these opportunities trick you out of the dream that can be accomplished. Hey, and that's, that's it, bro. Where is that saying? Drop the mother mic. If this is what you want to do, bro, you want to be a streamer, you want to be a YouTuber, you want to do that stuff, man, do it. Ain't nobody got to tell you something. I ain't got no trick tips for you. I ain't got no tricks for you. I ain't got no advice for you except for one thing and one thing only. Get ready to do something for 14 years with little, if any, return.
your return because in all likelihood it may not never happen for you i've been doing this for 14 years and i'm just now barely at the level that i am i ain't even over 100k on youtube yet but i've made a lot of money on it and i and i do enjoy the community that i foster and i got people like binary state of mind that man blessed me on my birthday on stream every single time for 14 years that's love i get friends like brute gambit i get friends like t miz anonymous all this i get to be part of a great community and all of that that's why i do it and i know my time coming i ain't even got to worry about it but that ain't why i'm doing it because i've been able to propel people i know i don't have the time to do it like i want to but i've been able to propel people forward to have the time they ain't gonna never tell y'all but i done made some people be millionaires on this thing bro and they, they ain't never gonna tell y'all but me and my boy snacks well, we done made some millionaires but I ain't gonna ever talk about it because there ain't no point in it. I'm trying to do this thing myself, man. You know, like why dwell in the past? Sometimes I sound like an old head talking about, you know, remember in my day, only thing we, in my day, hold on, my bad. And back there in my day, only thing we had was a dazzle and we had the stream, we had the stream put, putting two, two through the butter knife on the back of the TV. And then we had to put, uh, I forgot to put auto replay on, sorry about that. We had the stream with the butter knife on the back of the TV and we used to have to put the dog on, uh, you know, make our own HDMI. It wasn't even on HDMI. We, we used to have to make our own composite cables and just put it back there. Bro, what I look like, child, I know what y'all wanna say. Shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. If you had, let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna give y'all some statistical facts. If you got 100 subs on YouTube, you're doing better than 99% of the people in the world because everybody done tried to make a YouTube video or a YouTube channel. Literally, everyone on this planet. And if you got 100 subs, you're doing better than most of them. You see my boy Easy Does, man, TV. I'm going to leave his link down in the description. That boy grinding. I, I went and checked this stuff out. Grinding. And he going to get there. I promise you. You know why? Because he's celebrating the small victories, and that's exactly what you got to do in this thing. You got to ignore the noise, ignore everything else, celebrate your small victories, and keep pushing forward. Go over there and check out Easy Does, man. Fire content. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chap. These little niggas online keep taking stabs at us, but I'm too stingy to even give half a fuck. Godspeed. Godspeed.